So what was your name? Celia Herrera. Celia, nice to meet you. Thank you for taking the time to answer some questions. So I just saw you coming off of Echo Canyon, uh, and I just wanted to ask you uh, the difficulty of the trail. I know you're, I saw you running and you're in great shape, but for a guy like me and just the average person, how difficult is this trail? I mean, first starting off there's a huge incline, so that really kicks your butt. Everything's mind over matter, so that's what I, always put into my mind um, but yeah half more less than halfway you're already going up like steep steep hill investigators broke a woman found dead near Camelback Mountain was hiking with a Phoenix cop and tonight we know the woman's name is Angela Tremonti a 31 year old visiting from Boston she was found dead Friday after separating from that cop to turn back down the mountain in the summer heat Tonight, our Dave Biscoving, learning more about the officer. He joins us now with all the details. During hours of searching Friday in triple digit heat on Camelback Mountain, Phoenix Fire officials gave this initial report. So the heat, we were being told that she's from Boston and that they arrived here yesterday afternoon. This is her first full day. She's never been here before. Uh, but, he, but he's from yeah, he's from here. He is originally from another country. Uh, he's been living here for a while, he said, and he's very familiar with this mountain. He says he hikes it at this time of day, all the time, from the top to the bottom. What Fire didn't know then, and we know now, that man is Officer Dario Dizdar. He's a 14-year member of the Phoenix Police Department. He met Angela Tremonte online. He had been chatting for a couple of months. She flew out to meet him in person for the first time arriving Thursday afternoon, but she would be found dead less than 24 hours later. Here's a timeline. Dizdar and Tremonte went hiking in the mid-morning. Between approximately 10.30 and 11 a.m., the two split. Halfway up, she becomes overheated, wants to turn around. He tells her to turn around, go back down to the parking lot. He continues up to the peak, makes his way up to the top, comes all the way back down to the parking lot. He's not here. At 1 p.m., Dizdar calls 911 around five, her body is found. You know, you never leave someone behind. ABC 15 spoke to a group of Tremonte's friends in Massachusetts about her sudden death. She gets overheated and they agree to let her go down and he continues up. I mean, what do you guys think about that? 
it's disgusting for us, for him to have allowed that. How do you not accompany somebody down when they're having um, a very hard time up the mountain when she's exhausted? How do you have no disregard for somebody else's safety, especially when you're a police officer? These women say Monte was kind, strong, confident, also very fit and exercised regularly. Fire officials say Tremonte was found already dead in the backyard of a house along the mountain. So at this time, unfortunately, it is now a death investigation, so I can't get too far into the weeds of exactly how we found her and where we found her, but I can tell you it was very close to the mountain, and it did appear as if she was trying to alert somebody at a nearby home. ABC 15 spoke to a witness who saw the pair hiking. He provided this photo. Here in the distance, you can see Distar and Tremonte now, this was taken at 10.36 a.m., and it may show when the two start to split in opposite directions. We just want answers, and it doesn't add up, and we, we really want to know why, you know, even if this was heat exhaustion or whatever the case may be, we why would he allow her Why did you leave her alone? alone? I'm Investigator Dave Biscopin, ABC 15, Arizona. Phoenix Police didn't directly respond to our questions. This afternoon, the department did release a statement. It confirms one of their officers went hiking with Tremonte, but neither brought water on the hike. The statement also said at this time, there is no evidence to indicate foul play. Security going up like steep, steep hills, and it's that's the first difficulty of it, but um, I, I like to test my mind all the time. I come out here to relieve stress and anything, you know, like I love being out in nature. It's a great atmosphere. Everyone's so nice here and encouraging and motivating, you know, so. Heck yeah, that so. That really keeps me going. Well, lot. I know you had, you said you hadn't heard of the Angela, Angela Tremonte case, but you're, you know, you're gonna research it a little more. But um, I was kind of telling you a little bit about what happened, but uh, how do you feel about somebody coming in from like the Boston area, from out of state, not being familiar with the terrain? How do you feel about them? doing this hike in in the middle of July would you would you recommend that at 10 o'clock in the morning no I wouldn't definitely not recommend it um, especially here in Phoenix because it's already a hundred degrees right when like the Sun comes up which is like six o'clock in the summer so exactly um, I don't think I would be even be able to end she didn't I apparently she didn't have any water on her so Right. That's, Wouldn't that's that, I crucial. mean, how do you feel about that? People coming up here, especially a police officer uh, who's supposed to be a first responder, who's supposed to have a tremendous amount of common sense. How do you feel about him bringing her up here with no water on that day? It makes me very uncomfortable and it's a lot uh, very suspicious. Like just everything about it, I'm just like, it doesn't make sense, you know, like you're a police officer for one. You, you're from the area, you know it gets scorching hot here. In July, 10 o'clock, like it's just so many red flags, you don't, know? Yeah, don't you think that that would be the first thing he said mm -hmm. is, hey, we need to make sure we have plenty of water? Yep. Absolutely, yeah. and see, you've just heard about this case within the last five minutes and you, yes. yeah. All right, well, um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I'm just really glad that you're coming out here and bringing awareness now that um, I know about it. Um, I feel like I should be more um, cautious and uh, maybe keep, keep another second water bottle on me in case someone else from out of town doesn't, isn't aware of like the weather and terrain here. And it's just, yeah, I'm glad you're bringing a lot of awareness to this and I hope that you find out more information about it and more leads. So all good luck to you. Thank you so much. And uh, um, if you were to give this officer, his, his name's Dario Dizdar, if you were to give him a grade in terms of uh, boyfriend material, what kind of grade would you give him bringing a woman up here like that? Yeah, that's a definitely red flag. I would like a grade. Okay, probably zero flat yeah. out. Like absolutely so many red flags. Like, no. Okay, common sense, mm -hmm. huh? And responsibility, just taking care of that person you invited out here, you know, like it's just so many red flags. Absolutely. Don't, I don't feel comfortable with that. Don't Thank you so right. much for your time. Thank you. Really appreciate it. You have a wonderful day. All right, thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Today's date is October 24th, 2021. And I'll tell you what, here we are doing a hike in Phoenix, Arizona and it's about 85, 90 degrees out here right now. It's hot and I can't uh, imagine 
doing a hike in Phoenix in the middle of July with no water. I can't overstate how incredibly stupid it was for Phoenix police officer Dario Dizdar to take his date on a hike in the middle of July, Phoenix, Arizona, with no water. This is reckless. This is, this is beyond irresponsible. This is reckless. And it's my opinion that Dario Dizdar needs to have some type of consequences because that, that's, a, that's just a no-brainer that you bring water. Even in October, even in December, you bring water. So that's what I'm after. I'm after justice for Angela Tremonte's family. I believe, and for her, and I do believe that she deserves it. And I believe that uh, Officer Dizdar, dumbass, you know, definitely holds some responsibility for this. So we're gonna continue to investigate, try to raise awareness here in the state of Arizona. Stay with us, everyone.